this example, I'm going to show you how quickly we can take this uh, a little over 11 million triangle photo scanned rock with vertex colors and create a real time ready asset for it. So I'm going to go ahead and select this thing. You'll see it turn solid. Lots and lots of triangles there. So the first thing we need to do is make sure we set up our bake output. And this is our output path where our textures are going to render. Then we need to set our size. So I'm going to do 2048 by 2048. Uh, two times sampling. I'm going to set the dilation a little bit bigger, say 32 pixels. And then we want a tangent space normal and a vertex color because that's where the, all this color information is coming from and an ambient occlusion. Also, I'm going to take this to Unreal. So I want binorm normal per fragment checked. And you can see, depending on where you're taking this, it tells you what you should have on or off. The other thing to check as well is under setup, uh, I want to make sure that I force the MCT tangent space and have that check. So it's just going to recalculate tangents and force MCT. And last thing to do, go to remesh. And I'm going to go ahead and maximum triangles. I'm going to say 1500 triangles for this mesh. Also ignore back faces in case I have a hole in there from the photo scan. Um, I don't think I do, but it's, it's possible. And I don't need the wood block at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and create a clipping plane, drag this up, get rid of it. Our UVs are going to be just an automatic strategy. You're not going to worry about anything there. I'm going to go ahead and give it 16 pixels of gutter size in between the shells. And also it's going to insert normal splits at the hard edges. So everything's good there. So I'm going to select the model and all we need to do is hit remesh selected meshes. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to process this high poly model. And since it is very, very high at 12 million triangles, this is going to take about one or two minutes. Uh, just, just before it starts going and, and doing the installad calculation, remaking our low poly, or making a low poly for us, doing our UVs and baking all of our texture maps. Uh, and from there, it should only take about a minute to do all of that, maybe two minutes. So I'm going to cut the video here and come back and you'll see the time on how long it took to do it. All right, and so we're back and you can see right here, it did this entire process in 132 seconds. Um, and if we scroll up, we can see how long it what it what it was doing, how long it took, where the textures went out, what it, what it baked, the ambient occlusion, and everything right there. So all our information is here on everything that was done and the time that it took. So it took less time than it may, took me to make my cup of coffee. And the next thing to show is our model. So we have our model right here, and we can see that it's right one polygon under 1500 exactly like we typed in also I didn't bring up my my clipping plane as high as I should have so I'll just go ahead and delete these last little faces right here okay and now if we take a look at these things side by side everything's looking really really good our texture resolution is a little bit lower but again this one was vertex color on that 12 million triangles versus this one, which is our 2048. And if we take a look at our UVs, you can see right here, UVs done really nicely, lots of big shells, and just a couple little small ones there. So everything's looking good there, and we're ready to take this thing over to Unreal. Okay, now we're in Unreal. Everything's all set up uh, for time's sake here. So we've imported the mesh. I've created a material for it and we have the textures imported. Now, I did create a channel pack and created a roughness map. So let's first take a look. This was the ambient occlusion map that came out of Instalod. And this is the roughness map that I quickly made from the color, color map that it was created. So to take a look at those, here's our normal map. Uh, I did have to flip the green channel because I did bake as OpenGL when I should have just done DirectX, but flipping the green channel is really easy. And also here is the color map as it came out of Insalad right out of the bake at that 2048. So everything's looking good here. Really happy with the results of what came into Unreal. And if we want to take a look at it without the color map on it or a roughness map, just so we're not uh, fooled by you know the really nice colored image from the photo scan, I think showing it without anything and just the normal map on our low poly 1500 triangle mesh. You can see everything baked out really nice and cleanly. It's all looking really good. Turn this into a light. We're getting that really hard, hard flat face there that's on that rock, that sheared edge, and right at the top here. So everything's looking really nice and clean. 
Um, and I can show you this one more spot, right? And I'll take it over into Marmoset and we can take a look at it in there as well. But really happy with the result that I got uh, very quickly. I, I think total time is under 10 minutes, even with the explanation. So oh, really happy with these results. So let's take a look at it in Marmoset as the final part of this example. All right, so I've set up the mesh inside of Marmoset just like I had it on Real. So we've got the normal map and our channel packed uh, occlusion roughness with our albedo as well. And again, we're not flipping the Y inside of Marmoset because this one's looking for an open GL, not direct X. So everything's looking really nice and clean. We can click on the mesh, really low poly, right under that 1500 tries. And really, really clean and, and renders really nice. So in here, I'm going to be able to make a really nice turnable and bake this out and have a, a pretty clean looking render and you know something to preview my models with and, and show other people. So really great resource. And again, very, very quick from that photo scan to real time ready and showing the showing the model off inside of some really nice tools.